What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to cut a quick video just to let you guys know how I closed my recent uh, social media client. In fact, a client yesterday, um, shout out to Michelle, um, out there in, where the hell is she? She is in, she's actually in Canada. She's actually in Toronto. Um, met her on social media and connected with her shout out to freaking michelle man she's a freaking rock star and i'm excited to be working with her but there was like a a, a little a little a little in cells man in cells i've been in cells for a long ass freaking time you guys and and some of you guys been in it for longer than i have you know 20 years some of you are freaking barely 20 years old you know subscribing and following me on my channel here and so some of you guys are are freaking rookies as they come and so when it comes to sales, as you're going for the close, what tends to happen sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, is that prospect will bring up some type of proof, some type of confirmation. They'll either ask for a referral, or not a referral, but they'll ask for, um, for um, um, any of your past clients. They'll wanna know if they can reach out to them the same way a freaking boss will ask you, you know, can I call your previous employers to see, you know, how you work? It's that type of bullshit that prospects will bring up sometimes towards the end of the call or presentation when you're going for the close. And so yesterday, this prospect, Michelle of mine, she brought up the fact, she's like, David, well, I don't even know you. Um, how do I know you're for real? You know, you're asking for my credit card. And, and how do I know you're not a scam? And I'm like, first of all, Michelle, today it's very hard to scam people, in my opinion. Like, this is my true, honest, professional, honest to God opinion. I just think it's freaking damn near not impossible because there's some freaking hackers out there that are just freaking insanely good at what they do. But when it comes to really trying to build a business, when it really try, com comes to trying to build something legitimate, it's like, holy shit, you have social media now. Chances are, if that business is legit at all, they're on social media and they're building their business on social media. And it's like, man, it doesn't take much to burn somebody and go to their page and give them a negative ass review and talk all this crap about that person because they ripped you off. It doesn't take much to do that. And then it doesn't take long for a few of those to add up where that business's credibility is freaking done. Like that doesn't take much, man. So in today's world, in today's digital world, the internet was one thing where someone can Google you and they can maybe find some random, you know, review site or some Yelp, you know, site where, where there's some bullshit reviews, you know, it's changed from that. Nowadays, it's like, it's social media, dude. It's like, where are you at on social media? Let me find you on your LinkedIn. Let me look you up on your Facebook page. Let me look you up on IG. Like, let me see if you're really legit. That's all you got to do nowadays, man. It's so freaking crazy. And so I told Michelle, I said, first of all, Michelle, and this is, ex this is when I was asking for the credit card, okay? Your boy is a closer, man. I go in for that credit card on every single call. This is for my social media agency. And so when I straight, when I straight went for that credit card, she thought, David, how do I know you're legit? How do I know, you know, you're not, you're not freaking scamming or whatever. I said, let me look, let me show you something real quick, Michelle. I took her to my Facebook business page and this is all it took you guys. So here's the point of the video. I took her to this Facebook business page and I said, Michelle, first of all, there's 18,000 people over here that are following my page just like you. But most importantly, 98 of my clients gave me a five-star review. And I straight out told her, I said, Michelle, I hate for you to be the 99th person and you write something that is not cool. Like, I don't need that from you. Like, your few hundred bucks or whatever, your thousand dollars that you're about to give me, that's not worth my reputation on social media. Like, I'm not going to have you be that 99th person that blows it for me. So you don't got to worry about that. And she's all, damn, David, that's a lot of people that gave you a great review. I said, Michelle, do you want to go Visa, MasterCard, or American Express? Shout out to Michelle. She gave me an American Express. And so 
for those of you that are building a business online, this is what you call social proof. Now, there's some people out there that, that drive traffic, let's just say, straight to an offer, straight to an affiliate offer. Let's say you guys are an affiliate marketers and you drive it straight to an offer. And it's the company that you're promoting that needs to worry about these reviews and the social proof. Let's say you're building a Shopify store or an Amazon FBA store. You know for a fact your reviews help you sell more products. And if you're not selling more products, chances are you're not getting good reviews. You want to start building your reviews on everything. In my case, what I make my clients do, I literally make them, you know, I say, hey man, I'm going to knock this out for you, but I need you to go give me a great review. I'm going to teach you a few strategies for free, but I need you to go give me a great review. I'm always pushing towards this page right here for people to give me a good review. And so I've, I've, I've managed to get it up to 98. And when people see that, you guys, they come over here and they look at all these reviews that are on the page. David deserves a lot of credit. His books, training videos, and guidance have helped me a lot in learning about social media advertising and getting more leads into my business for less money. He is very knowledgeable, motivating, and patient. I'm a very happy customer. See, shout out to Eli, man. And I'm seeing that for the first time right now. You know, I'm seeing that for the first time right now. It's like, holy crap, dude. David reached out to me and asked if I'd done any, if I'd done a video at introducing myself to homeowners in my city. I had not. He encouraged me to do so. You guys, these are all my clients, man. These are all my clients that come in here and, and give and, and has and have gave me a great review. And this right here helps me sell more clients. So whatever you guys are doing, man, build up the review column. If it's your Shopify, if it's your Amazon FBA, if you're affiliate marketing, I guess you don't really need to worry about that on affiliate marketing. But if you're building any type of service-based business where you're servicing clients, AKA a social media agency, testimonies and reviews are going to freaking make you a lot of money. Trust me, man. So this is my business page here for my social media agency. Um, and what you want to do also, here's another thing you guys want to do. What you have to do, man, is you have to, in, you have to run a like ad. So, so for those of you that have built a business, you guys should have a Facebook business page because through this Facebook business page, you're running Facebook ads and Instagram ads. Okay. So any of you guys that are going to be doing that or are doing that, you know, the importance of this business page, what you want to do. Okay. What you want to do which is step one, is fill out the about section. In fact, I did it on my other business page. Don't follow me here. You, don't, you guys don't need to follow me here, but you can follow me over here at David Cantero 3P. So facebook.com forward slash David Cantero 3P. This is the business page that I want you guys to follow me on, okay? But over here, what you want to do, here's step one, okay? Here's step one. I'm giving you guys some golden nuggets right now. This is what you want to do when building any business, if you have a Facebook business page, okay, you should, if you're building a business, you should have a page like this, okay? What you wanna do, step one, is you wanna come in here to the about section and fill this all out. Your website, your email, your Twitter, your Instagram. This is LinkedIn and Pinterest. I don't know why the icons aren't showing, but that's what those are. Um, that's step one, you have to fill that out. This is where the social proof comes in. This is where people are coming to your page. They're clicking on about to see who you are and what you're about. And you want to show them these links. It's not really about your story. The story is one thing. And the, and the, and the words that you're putting in the story helps for Google search engine optimization. So that's important. Writing out your about. But putting all these links is also important. You want to go set up your Gmail. You want to go set up your .com, your domain. Okay. And, and, and here's a little hack for the domain. You can come over here to go to Google, come over here to Google and type in cheap domains. And you're looking for the GoDaddy ad. Okay. This 99 cent GoDaddy ad. Here's step one, whatever name you're using for your social media platforms, I'm using David Cantero three, three P for everything, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, you can find me on David Cantrell 3P. 
So whatever social media name you're using, come over here and get the .com for 99 cents for the year. Okay, get the .com from GoDaddy and then match that. Even if you don't have a website yet, okay? Even if you don't have a website, even if you don't have a landing page, profitwithcarter.com, that link is in the description for landing pages. But if you don't even have a landing page or a website, you can always forward this to your YouTube channel or you can forward your domain to your Facebook business page, right? Now you can put that domain on your business cards. You can put it in the website field on, social, on your social media platforms and it just forwards to your business page you know, until you get your own landing page or, or website. But you want to match everything. That's what I'm getting at. You want to match everything. You see how everything looks consistent. It looks good for your brand and it gives off one name to your audience and one name only. Now they can remember you under that one name, David Cantero 3P, okay? So you wanna match all those links. And then what you wanna do is you want to, let me go back to my actual other page. Step two, so that was step one, linking everything and getting everything matching, okay? Step two is you wanna run this like ad. And you have to take that number up. A lot of you guys are simply clicking invite. You're coming over here. You're inviting your friends. Okay, come and like my page. That's a bunch of bullshit and that takes forever. Even though you can come over here and select all and invite all at one time, the fact is, is that not everyone's going to accept the invite. So you're going to find yourself every day clicking invite. And it's going to be a freaking high. It's going to feel like a freaking high, like you're getting high just because it's increasing by freaking 10 a day. It's like, holy shit, dude, what are you at? 300 and it's taking you a year to get there? You don't wanna do that. Even if you're freaking clicking invite and you get yourself to 500, 600, 700 likes, that's still a ridiculously low number. Step two is you have to run the like ad, okay? You come over here to your ads manager or you click on create and you go to add and you run a like ad. Don't boost a post you go into your ads manager and you run an engagement page like ad. That's step two. And that's only a strategy to get the social proof and the credibility. When people land on your business page, your prospects, your clients, people that are looking to do business with you, and they come to your business page to do their little due diligence on you, that number better be high. If it's not high, Instant loss of credibility, instantly. I don't believe you. Like when I run, when I see ads, look, man, let's let's look right now. Look, this is this is some real deal live shit right now, you guys. This is a big deal because here's what's going on, and then people are wondering why their Facebook ads aren't converting as well. Here's what's going on. As we scroll through our news feed, let me refresh this so you guys know that I ain't playing around. This is real, real live shit. Here's what's going on. Okay, so here's Wix. Now, Wix is a, is a pretty big company now. So I'm not going to show them as an example. Let me see. Yeah, I'm not going to show them as an example. Let me go to another ad. Let's look at another ad. Okay, so where's the sponsored ads when you need one? Okay, next door, they're kind of a bigger company as well. I'm looking for like guys like us, man. Guys and gals like us, like that are just getting started, like that are running ads and they're not a big brand name yet. You know, let me show you one of those guys. Pinterest. Waze, I never heard of Waze. Um, I never heard of that one. That's a big brand company too. Let me see if we can find a regular ad, Agent Crate. Okay, that's, I'm sure this is not a big brand company, um, but it is a big brand, it is a big company. I'm looking for like an individual, man, someone like you and I, you know, someone that's just running ads and taking them to a landing page, for example. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, here we go, Jimmy Rex, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a normal ass person like a Jimmy Rex. Here's what's going on, okay? Here's what's going on. 
Here's step two. This is why the like ad is so important. When it comes to a sponsored ad, when it comes to running Facebook ads, there's really three places to click on, but it only takes you to two, two places. Number one, I can click on his name. That's going to take me to his business page, right? That's going to take me to his business page. I can click on the image. That's going to take me to where the get offer button takes me. Okay. That's going to take me to, I would, I would assume a landing page, right? This right here, this image, this get offer, those both take me to the same place. The other place is the name. So when I click on his name and I go to his business page, this is what I see in the fold right away. So right away, right away, without even scrolling much down, I see 2,000 likes, okay? Now, having a comma in the number is what's important. 2,000, it doesn't really impress me but that would most likely impress most people. And so that's why I'm saying, even at 2000, I still think that's a baby number. You want a 10 exit. This is step two. If you're out there talking to the general public, if you're out there trying to close deals on social media services, and I come over to your business page and you got 500 likes, I'm not hiring you, man. I'm not hiring you. And that was the whole reason why I took mine to 18,000. So when my potential clients land on that business page, on my business page, it blows them away. Every single time I show them 18,000 likes, they're like, holy shit, David. Okay, you do know what you're doing. I'm like, you're right. And all that was, you guys, was a simple like ad. So that's what you want to run first, man. A lot of you guys are trying to put, you know, freaking, you're trying to, you're trying to skip to, to, to step four and five when you haven't even done step one and two. One and two, link everything, number one. And then number two, run the like ad and take your likes up, okay? Now, you don't have to take it to 18,000 right away, you know, like I did. You don't have to take it all the way up over there. But what you do got to do is you do need to put a comma in that number. And I would suggest, I would suggest for sure taking it up to at least, at least a minimum of 7,000, a minimum 7,000. That's gonna be the lucky, the magic number right there. You wanna take it up a minimum of 7,000 likes. And if you don't even know how to run that ad, feel free to comment below and maybe I'll do another video or we can set up a quick call and I can, I can share, I can share how, I can walk you through it and share how to, how to run that ad. But that's so important, man. Leads aren't gonna come from it. You're not going to get a ton of people that are engaging in your post all of a sudden because you got thousands of people that like the page. It's for one reason and one reason only. The hundred bucks that you put, that you put towards that to put a comma in that number is going to make you thousands of dollars in the back end. Okay, that's the reality of that like count. I'm only running it to get the perception that I'm the real deal. And so when people land on my page for the first time, the first impression blows them away. That's what that is, man. It's a first impression. I see this number before I see any other post on the page. The moment I land on this page, it's that number that I see. It's the review count and it's the, the like count that I see right away. And you just want those numbers to be big, you guys. Big, 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 okay? So step one, list all the links. Step two, run that like ad to at least 7,000. Now you have the social proof to go close some more deals. All right, you guys, so that's all I had to do to close my recent client, show her the review count, show her the like count, and she was sold. All right, you guys, so I hope that helped. If you're coming across my channel for the first time, my name is David. I'm out here in San Diego building a social media agency and a digital publishing company. So make sure you're subscribed. If you're into social media marketing, if you're into online entrepreneurship, this is the place you want to be. I'm going to teach you some little tricks that I'm doing throughout my way, throughout my day to blow up my business when it comes to courses and affiliate marketing. All right, you guys, so subscribe, smash the bell for notifications, drop a comment below. If you want me to show you how to run that ad for the likes, drop a comment below and we'll set up a quick call and I'll walk you through it all. All right, you guys, over and out. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.